Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do March readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say that general readings, um, take what applies, if it applies, you know what to do with the rest of it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within 24 hours of contact, whether um, you contact me by phone or email, and uh, readings are done either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. So again, give me a shout if you're interested. If you like to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. And uh, I coach throughout the whole thing. So if you ever get stuck, give me a shout. I'll be there. And also my mystery healing boxes. They're a small, medium, and large, an array of colors. And they're absolutely beautiful. They make great gifts. And I also have the travel box now too which I've been using a lot when I do tarot parties. So again, if you're interested, give me a shout. Phew, get it all said and done. This reading's gonna be for Pisces. Let's see what's shaking with you in March, 2019. Happy birthday to Piscerians. Pisces, is there something you want to manifest and maybe you don't know how to go about doing it? Hmm. Let's find out here. The bottom of the deck. Oof. Pisces. We have the Ten of Swords. Now, this is feeling backstabbed, lied to, cheated on, duped. But Tens are at the end of a cycle, Pisces. Dunsky. This energy feels like it's already happened. And where tens are at the end of the cycle, something new you can embark on. Leaving that energy behind. And really leaving it behind. Pisces is, you know, detaching from it completely. So, Pisces, let's get it. We're going to start off with two major arcanas here. The first one is the hangman. I'm using the medieval cat tarot, so it's the hang cat. <laughs> this is feeling stuck, feeling in limbo. You don't go forward, you don't go backwards, you're just hanging around, right? But the hanged man sees something in a different perspective. He sees something in a different angle. And when he sees something in a different perspective, that's when he gets unstuck. And then he can go forward. And what's crossing to help and hinder, Pisces, you have the moon. Now, this is considered your card, but the moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception. It can be fear. It can be heightened intuition. Pisces, you could be so consumed with whatever this is that you don't see something potential in a friendship, love ship, you know, career ship, any one of those ships. And I think that's what's hindering you, Pisces, is that you get to release yourself from this energy. And the only way you're going to do that is seeing something in a different perspective. Now, in your foundation, Pisces, you have the Four of Swords. And this is taking a pause, taking a breath, taking a step back. Reprioritizing and re-strategizing. Pisces making a plan and even making a plan B. Because once you clearly see something here, Pisces, you're going to want to give yourself that moment to be like, all right, I see very clear now. What am I going to do about it? And you make a plan. 
And this is your plan. It's not this person's plan or that one's what people want you to do, Pisces. It's what you feel you need to do for you and you alone. Now, it's crowning your whole reading here, Pisces, is that you have the Queen of Coins. No, it's Queen of Pentacles. She comes from the court of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who has these properties. King, Queen, doesn't matter. It's an energy. She's grounded. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. She's a realist. She sees things for how it really is. She is the planner. Everything is scheduled and in its right place. I always call her the farmer's wife because she loves plants and animals and outdoors. Or the soccer mom. <laughs> She'll get you there on time. She's always on time. But she's very easy to talk to. A lot of people consider it like the hippie card. Because you feel like you've known them you know, forever. In Pisces, this might be, you know, the energy that you need to you know, embody, take that time, process, make a plan, see something, you know, maybe a new set of eyes, seeing something in a different perspective, and not sugarcoating it. Whatever the situation is, it is what it is, and you make a plan, and you execute it. But don't let whatever this Ten of Swords is, keep you blind, Pisces. Now, in your recent past, you have the King of Wands. And this comes from the court of Can <laughs> Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. But more so, you know, it's an energy as well. The King of Wands does not wait around for something to happen. He makes it happen. You know, he puts something in motion, and he keeps it in motion. He's passionate. He's creative. Go get it done. And he's motivated. So, either you're dealing with a fire-like person, or it's the properties that, you know, you get gung-ho. You know, you want to put something, you know, into motion. Get something rolling. But you got to get unstuck first, Pisces. Because going into your future, you have a very powerful card. Major Arcana, you get the Magician. Now he's the number one out of the Major Arcana. He makes anything happen for himself. He has all the tools in front of him to get what he needs. Law of attack, Attraction. Yeah, he will make the things that he desires come to him. Those perfect scenarios. Right time at the right place sort of thing. Because he will get, you know, what he wants. It's a very powerful card, Pisces. This is your energy going into the future. You know, that once you see something from a different angle, Something that you didn't see before. Because it could have been blinded by these. Once you let it go, Pisces, and you see something clearly, now you get fired up. Now your passion gets lit up. And now it's like this. Now you're ready to create. Now you're ready to manifest. Now you're ready to bring the things to you that you want and you deserve. And how people see you in your environment. Pisces, they see you as the Six of Swords. And this is moving away to Kama Waters. Leaving a situation behind and going to a better one. And when people are seeing you like this in your environment, that you're ready to jet, you're ready to go, you've had enough. Deuces. Not playing games anymore. I got better things to do. I got magic to create. Bye. People see that you're not playing games anymore. I think you're done. Here, Pisces. I think you're done with same old, same old 
you know, crappy situations, crappy people. You don't want it for yourself. All of a sudden, you see something in a new light, at a new angle, that you didn't see before, Pisces. And now, all of a sudden, you're grounded, and you're like, wow. Really? Eyes guts to go. And people are going to take you serious because you ain't playing, Pisces. In your environment, you have the Eight of Wands. Now, this is communication. You're not talking to yourself here, Pisces. It's reciprocated communication. Whether you're emailing, texting, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, don't matter. You are putting a message out there. Putting something into motion. You're letting people know. If you're letting people know that you're not hand, you know, you're not dealing with shenanigans anymore. You mean it. You see something, you know, take the rose colored glasses off. You seeing people for what they're really worth. Or a situation in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any ship. And you're communicating this. You don't, no, nah, no, I'm not going to be a part of this. Nope, I don't want that, but I want that. And you put something in motion. In Pisces, in your hopes and fears, you have the page of coins. And I love how it's depicted here in the medieval cats. He's a messenger of the sea here, taste, touch, prove things. Money, sure. But things that have worth and value to us. Now, he looks a little skittish, right? Because he's a page, he's young. He puts his toe out there first, and then he offers a plant. Now, the person receiving this plant, if they can take it, nurture it, you know, give it sunlight, give it attention, give it love, it's going to turn into something beautiful. Thus, you get the pinnacle. Now, in your hopes and fears, maybe you're waiting for this offer. You shoot your, uh, your arrows of communication out there. And you want something back. You want something real. Because Pisces, it's the energy you're taking on. Not sugarcoating. Being a realist. Now you're ready to receive or give something real that's really valuable. So Pisces, Try to see something at a different angle. And if you do, it's going to shed new light on something. It will put you in the direction to start creating. For yourself and making things happen for yourself. And not everything is done overnight. Wouldn't that be nice? But your outcome card. Here Pisces is temperance. Now, this is, you know, the balance. Head, heart on the same page. Subconscious, conscious. It's about having patience. And yes, patience is a, a big pill to swallow for some people. But when you can be patient and patient with yourself. And knowing that you can create a different scenario. A different situation. And you don't have to stay anywhere, Pisces. And you let that communication out there. Be patient. The universe wants you to be patient. Rome wasn't built in a day. But you will get to where you want to go. I think so. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.